And I'm back. This is the John DePietro Show, and this is the final half hour. Wow. And I thought I couldn't talk for three hours. <laughs> it goes fast. Thank you, John, for having me in studio, keeping the chair warm. And this is Robin Call. You can find me on Facebook at Reading with Robin, robincall.com. If you're a book person, please get in touch. My final guest of the three hours is my pal, Carrie Ann of wickedtulips.com. Well, Wicked Tulip Flower Farm. I'm looking at your notes, Carrie Ann. And I am thrilled on the first day of spring to be talking to the tulip lady. Welcome to <laughs> Reading with Rob and Carrie Ann. Oh, thank you, Rob. It's so good to talk to you. It's been a while. It has been way too long, but you've been busy. You're not just planting tulips. Congratulations on your baby. Is he five weeks now? Six? Um, yeah, Jack, you are right on. He is just, I think he's going to be, oh, I think he is five weeks. <laughs> wow. Right. Unbelievable. Because he was early. And I remember when we were talking dates, thinking, okay, I know they have to plant the tulip. Well, the tulip bulbs get planted in the spring, but in, in the, the fall. fall. In the fall, I'm sorry. But then you worry about, like, the the snow and the coverage and like when you're going to open and think you know it's kind of like when accountants decide when it's a good time to have a baby it's always a good time to have a baby yeah always. It's, it's, yeah we just figured you know whenever it happens it happens and we'll just deal with it it's actually um it's we're we're super thrilled and um, oh, he's adorable oh my god can you believe he's like it just goes so quickly i mean tulips also grow fast but the baby they do <laughs> The, but the baby, and this is the third season, right? Is this your yeah, thing? this is our third season, um, and it, every year where it, it just keeps growing and growing. It's amazing. I was telling somebody before, I mean, you and I met, I had seen, I love this story, I've seen this beautiful picture of the tulips, I posted on Facebook, and I wrote, Rhode Island, who knew? And it just went crazy. Is the craziest post went so viral from my page. I, I don't, would never know how to mimic that. But everybody, it's just everybody's... I mean, I still meet people who are like, well, I didn't get there. I didn't get there last year or whatever. And I'm like, we have to go. As soon as they put their tickets on, you must get on their email list. You go to wickedtulips.com. Make sure you're on that email list. And then every, yeah. everything is very efficient. So... We, um, we try. <laughs> You no, know, you guys do a great job. You you do, you do. I mean, it's so. What are the changes? I mean, some people. I don't know how anyone has missed it, but if you haven't been there, what what's different this year than the than the last two? Well, the thing that's not different that you did touch on was the um, going on and getting getting tickets. So mm -hmm. that's always really important because every year we do get um, more well known, and it gets harder and harder because we can to get a ticket because we can only, um, you know, we're, it's not a huge farm and there's only so much parking, so we have to, you know, keep it under control. And we also don't want to let so many people out at once um, that all the tulips are gone <laughs> before <laughs> right. anybody else gets there. So we've got to kind of regulate it. So that's always really good. And tickets aren't on sale, but they will go on sale um, once we figure out when we're opening, which Mother Nature never really gives us a hard and fast date until no, she, a week or so before. She doesn't, but if you're signed up, so the most important thing is to go to wickedtulips.com, get on the email list, and you will yeah. send out the email when people can start to buy the tickets. And that's... Exactly, yeah. Start we always there. Um, give the newsletter um, subscribers first basically first dibs on tickets and mm -hmm. then um we don't open it up to the public until like we usually give it a day or two just with the subscribers um you know kind of say thank you for for subscribing and following us and um you know it, it's kind of a nice nice thank you for them but um you were asking about different things so we are in a different we're in the same farm mm -hmm. but we have to rotate every year because right. that's what tulips need to be healthy and so we're on a different um piece of land mm -hmm. it's kind of further back and it's gorgeous because when you look, mm -hmm. you're in the back, there's this gorgeous pond behind you, um, you're surrounded by the trees, and you look out and you see the farm, like, kind of spread out in front of you with the, the red silos and the barn, and oh, wow. it's just... So it's that change, so the tulips remain, and and you you try different things, but it's a different vista then. So I yeah. So we have a different vista. <coughs> we planted six hundred thousand tulips. Wow. Um, we are only on one field. Last year we had an early field and the late field. This mm -hmm. year we're all on one field. Okay. Um, so that's gonna you know, that'll be a little bit different, and we have over a hundred varieties of 
different types of tulips. Oh, wow. And, oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the happiest place. I think that's what I said. It's like the happiest place in Rhode Island. And if you haven't been, you just must. You know, we don't know. Again, Mother Nature has her own plan, so not exactly sure when it will open. But, you know, give or take, you, you can. Yeah, you know. we think about the last week of April. Mm-hmm. Um, so would love to see it, you know, to be open three to four weeks. I'd say three weeks um, unless we have crazy weather. Last year we had some crazy rain, so it made it go a lot faster. Yes. Um, but, oh, the other thing that we did that we were excited about, we planted, so we plant early blooming tulips, mid-blooming tulips, and late-blooming tulips. Mm-hmm. So that, you know, early spring, mid, and late. So that the color starts, and then it kind of, that's how you get, like, you can get up to a month of color because they don't bloom at the same time. Yeah. So we planted a special field um, of 200,000 of our single lake varieties. Uh, so they're all together, and we're going to rope them off and not let anybody in to <laughs> pick them until, you know, to the latter part of our season um, in hopes that we will actually still have an abundance of flowers by Mother's Day because Mother's Day is always really, we, uh, we always yes. start to run out. And last year we didn't even make it to Mother's Day. We closed the day before. Yeah, I remember. I remember I but you so know, bad. You, you can only do so much about, like you say, Mother Nature and you have it all planned out and it's just looking at the colors as you approach. It is, um, you know, go to the Facebook page and on Instagram and go to wickedtulips.com. It, you you have to see this. I, I don't understand yeah. anybody that hasn't gotten there. You have people that have come from all over. I mean, what's been the most surprising um, destinations of where you're well, like? We had, we had people drive from Pennsylvania. Cool. Um, That's so... <laughs> like, I kind of expect, you know, Connecticut and, you know, Maine, or, uh, like the surrounding New England areas, but... Um, all the way from Pennsylvania. Impressive. So that was a little crazy. Impressive. And one of the things I love watching, because I definitely um, had a, a bunch of visits there, was, was watching the families come, the kids, the pictures, the generations of people. And you've had all sorts of stories, right? I mean, I see, yeah. you know, and I, I can't even imagine, like, what's the wildest thing that happened there? Well, we had... Um, I don't know if it's wild, but we've had, you know, several beautiful engagements. That's um, wild. I'll, I'll take that. Impromptu wedding. Uh, um, yeah. Um, I'm just, <laughs> wild for us would be like that we think we had like a wild boar in the field. <laughs> That's like the farming wildness. Sure. Um, absolutely. Wild, wild is sense. wild. I, I, yeah. Or people crying. That's kind of wild. Like they, uh, they're so overwhelmed by the beauty um, that it brings them to tears. And that's pretty amazing. Oh, yeah. I can only imagine the stories and the, the people. Uh, many come back many times or bring friends and you can pick your own and then you wrap them. So you have this wonderful wrapping station and um, it's yeah. just it's interactive and it's just a lot of fun. And it's wickedtulips.com. I have to take a quick break. Can you hang on? I sure can. And then we'll talk more. And if the baby needs you, you know, feel free to hang up and I'll just keep talking. And I'm back with the final, the final session here with my friend Carrie Ann Komen, Wicked Tulip Flower Farm, and you can buy bulbs too, right, Carrie Ann? You can. In fact, we just um, redid our entire website, so the new website won't even be up till probably the end of the day. Um, everything's going to be on one website now. We're going to have our you pick information and our bulb catalog, which you can buy online. But we also are going to be we also are going to be offering. Um, bulb sales at the event this year. So we've Love done it in the past, but now we're going to offer more of our varieties. So that's it's what happens pretty- as you go along. You think, what would we like to add or what? Are you always, you know, you guys, you and you're in, are always thinking about what you want to add to. But- we do. And, that you know, and what worked, what didn't work, you know, feedback from our, our, our visitors and, um, yeah, and like eventually we'd love to have more than one location ah. so that more and more people can come because as you said like we're getting well more well known and oh, we're it's crazy so people yes oh it's yeah it is absolutely we, crazy yeah we were in so this is exciting this year too um we were just in two were in two magazines a yankee magazine which was I a beautiful saw article. that is awesome congratulations thank you and then 
we're in the, the Better Homes and Gardens um, that's coming out. If it's not already out, it's it's coming out like now. Wonderful. That's awesome. So that there are so many people talking about this. And anytime I have the opportunity, I'm like, have you been to Wicked Tulip Flower Farm? <laughs> You need to go to Wicked Tulip Flower Farm. So, um, so Better Homes and Gardens. So, is it the May, the April issue? That would be. I him. think it's the. Yeah, I don't know if they. Do they get, come out every month? Yeah, I think it's April. I know it's their Easter issue. Perfect. Um, so I, we have we kept checking and we haven't seen it in the grocery stores, but we don't. It's hard for us to get out right now. <laughs> maybe, so. Well, if I see one, I'll make sure I get it to you because I still have your baby gift. I want to bring it over. So uh, oh, yeah, you better come over. I can't maybe. wait to come over. But yeah, everybody doesn't have to hear that story. But I'm like, I want to come over and see the baby. I can't even believe. I mean, can you imagine the pictures, baby pictures in the tulip farm? In the tulips, I know. Tulips? We already had. If, yeah, I sent you that picture that um, my friend Hallie of Hallie J pictures. Yeah. Yes. So she came to the house, and she'll take the one at the farm, Ugh. and it's going to be spectacular. So gorgeous. I'm so excited for you guys. The, the tulips, the baby, I mean, it all, all good things. And so you're saying that the new site, wickedtulips.com, the new site will be up soon, like today. Yeah, it, I mean, it should have been up a, a little while ago, but again, yeah. <laughs> it, it all happens. happens. They, things um, do happen. We figured, well, it's first day of spring. Well, we'll go for that gate now. I know. I was so excited to have you on on the first day of spring. I was it's very, perfect. It's absolutely perfect. And I love sharing what I love. And Wicked Tulip Flower Farm is when, oh, when you, you guys brought that to Rhode Island, you're welcome. It was, it's just such a wonderful space. And it's meaningful in so many ways. And I just love seeing everybody so happy. You can't. Be- it is. I mean, it's really hard to be miserable when you're surrounded by all that gorgeous color. It's and really it's, right. It's yeah. People it's, are smiling. I mean, it just brightens and, your soul. I think. Oh, and the pictures. I mean, I've seen so many pictures that people post, and you can uh, visit the Facebook page to see pictures and scroll back through the year, and also oh, your and, Instagram. And Robin, I forgot. This is important. Sure. Um, the Bloom Report. So once our you uh. know our website, it's, uh, the old one is up, but. We always have a bloom report so that before you come out or uh, you want to see how the field is doing, you just go right to our bloom report. And we keep important updates on there, and we put a new picture on every couple days. And um, so you can, yeah, you can scroll back and even see last year's and the year before some of their the photos from that. It's so official. I remember you talking about the bloom report, the bloom report. The bloom report. I prefer to just text you and go, is the farm open? <laughs> yeah, but at the farm, like, we don't, like, the phone barely work. <laughs> I know. Oh, I know. Well, look at you. know, you're out in the field. You're doing the work and you have an amazing team. How many people are working there these days and you have oh, volunteers? Um, I mean, we have, like, we actually hired our first like full-time real like employee, Marcy, who has been wonderful because she is taking over a lot of my responsibilities in um, preparation for the baby. Good. Um, yeah. And so she's there. And we're actually looking to hire now. We're looking for folks that want to work the Tulip Festival with us for like three weeks. And we're looking for some full-timers. We're looking for some select part-timers. And um, well, you know, that's great when you work for us. Wicked, lots of perks. So Wicked Tool Flower Farm looking to employ more Rhode Islanders. If people are interested, how should they get in touch with you? They should just email us at teamtulip <laughs> at wickedtulips.com. So teamtulip at wickedtulips.com. And that's all, all on the website, too. So if they forget, they can go on. And then Marcy will be handling all that. Wonderful. So, I just lots of new stuff. We're, love I'm trying to see it. what else I can tell you because people will see the new website. Um, our ticketing is going to be a little different. So mm-hmm. that'll be, so it's still going to be, it's still the same pricing, but we switched it up. So it's $5 during the week, which is Tuesday through Friday because we're closed on Monday. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, but for the weekends, what we did is we are including. 10 tulips in the admission price so it's with seven dollars for a ticket plus 10 tulips so it's going to be 17 dollars total oh wow that's in. awesome and yeah you can still pick more mm-hmm. um, but we found that on average people pick uh, usually a minimum of around 10 mm-hmm. um and unfortunately we had a lot of damage too so that was the reason we actually had to incorporate this okay um because we had a lot of people picking and then not paying for them oh no um, do they do that do you have the tulip do. you had the tulip police where were the tulip police <laughs> <laughs> the tulip if you can't be everywhere at once i know i know <laughs> 
so we figured that this would be a good way. We know that I like that. You know, that, that way, and if you want to buy more, you can. But at least you come in, you're, you're, um, you've got your ten, and um, so we figured that was a good way to do it. And so we didn't want to increase our the price of our tulips. Prices are still a taller right. a dollar a stem. So which is amazing. Which is amazing. I think that's a great way to handle it. And yeah. yeah, I know. And I remember. And you've got the beautiful show garden. I was there one day, and somebody was going. I'm like, don't touch the show garden. Yeah. You and have when you signs. go in the show garden, so the show garden is for pictures, and to also say like, oh, I want that one <laughs> for my garden. <laughs> uh, uh, but we also have the varieties that are in that are showcased in the Better Homes and Gardens article mm-hmm. um, are planted in our show garden. So the, the, we, I, we should have signs up saying, as seen in Better Homes and oh, Gardens. I, oh, that's awesome. That's, yeah. That's so, very exciting. And also, you said, uh, featured also in Yankee Magazine. So oh, yeah. lots of great stuff. Today is spring, so this is we're just maybe five weeks away from the tulip explosion End in of April. Johnston. I know it goes so fast. You never want to rush things, but there's something about spring coming that just feels like it's fair. It's fair to say, yeah, right? We're ready. After the snow, t- we're going to have snow tomorrow. So what do you do? We're have snow I, next week. I know. Oh, did you? Oh, next week too? I didn't know about it. I'm no, not I have to, no idea, but I wouldn't put it past. But this know. this week. So what do you do in preparation? Because they're hardy little bulbs. They are. Um, so we... Last year, we actually forced some to come up early, and oh. that was, worked out well, but that would be, as you can see, can be really stressful because you don't want them to grow too much before the snow hits. Right. But as long as they're covered by the snow, mm-hmm. um, that's not really a problem. Um, it becomes a problem when the, the, the little shoots have grown, and then the snow has come, you know, it's kind of gone away, and it gets really cold, like 15 below or something, and then it's windy, yeah. and that's when you can have... It won't kill them, but it'll damage the leaves, and it could damage some of the bud, mm. uh, the flower bud. So we don't really worry about the snow so much as we just look at the temperature the and temps. how much the tulip has grown. Well, I hope that there's warm snow then and all good things for Wicked Tulip Flower Farm and your beautiful family. And everybody go to wickedtulips.com and find out everything that you need to know. But make sure, I think the most important first step is get on that email list so you know when tickets go on sale and you can get yours. Because yeah, make sure you add us to your um, address list because otherwise you might go into the junk mail. <sighs> the spam, yes. It, I never then, really know how to do that. I have to figure out how to add to the address list. I don't do that. I check spam for things just in general, but add, mm-hmm. Wicked, Tulip, add Wicked, tu- Wicked Tulips to the address book and then you won't go. I know because people will say, you didn't send it. It's like, did you check the spam? Did you check, check the spam? spam? in there. I know. Oh, and I've got to go. So I have to say goodbye. Carrie Ann, thank you so much. Wicked Tulip Flower Farm, I will see you soon. Yes, happy spring, Robin. Happy spring. Happy tulips. Thank you so much for appearing on the show. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. And goodbye to everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to the John DePietro Show. This is your host, Robin Call, filling in for John. I really appreciate the three hours. It was so much fun. Went way too fast. Please find me on Facebook at Reading with Robin or my website, robincall.com. And if you are a book lover or in a book club, please send me an email, robin at robincall.com, or find me on Facebook. You don't want to miss our awesome author events tonight, Point Street Reading Series at Alchemy in Providence. Show starts at 7 o'clock. Thanks for tuning in.